was gone, leaving only the dark blacker than black. Just in front of Perrin's boots, the floor tiles came to an abrupt end. As he watched, the white edges dissolved into the black like sand washed away by water. He stepped back hastily. Run. Perrin turned and Hopper was there, a big gray wolf, grizzled and scarred. You are dead. I saw you die. I felt you die. Ascending flooded Perrin's mind. Run now. You must not be here now. Danger. Great danger. Worse than all the Neverborn. You must go. Go now. Now. How? Perrin shouted. I want to go, but how? Go. Teeth bared, Hopper leaped for Perrin's throat. With a strangled cry, Perrin sat up on the bed, hands going to his throat to hold in lifeblood. They met unbroken skin. He swallowed with relief, but the next moment, his fingers touched a damp spot. Almost falling in his haste, he scrambled off the bed, stumbled to the washstand, and seized the pitcher, splashed water everywhere as he filled the basin. The water turned pink as he washed his face. Pink with the blood of that strangely dressed man. More dark spots dotted his coat and breeches. He tore them off and tossed them into the furthest corner. He meant to leave them there. Simeon could burn them. A gust of wind whipped in the open window. Shivering in shirt and small clothes, he sat on the floor and leaned back against the bed. This should be uncomfortable enough. Sourness tinged his thoughts and worry and fear. And determination. I won't give in to this. I won't. He was still shivering when sleep finally came. A shallow half-sleep filled with vague awareness of the room around him and thoughts of the cold. But the bad dreams that came were better than some others. Rand huddled under the trees in the night, watching the heavy-shouldered black dog come nearer his hiding place. His side ached. The wound Moraine could not quite heal, but he ignored it. The moon gave barely enough light for him to make out the dog, waist-high with its thick neck and massive head, and its teeth that seemed to shine like wet silver in the night.